Hi guys, welcome back to my blog. Um, today I'm going to be trying a different format, a little bit of an interview style, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Here we go. So the reason that I did this plaque was uh, for my grandfather as a, as a thank you gift. Uh, my grandparents really helped me out a lot in college, and uh, I wanted to do something for them since I'd finished up as a way of, of saying thank you uh, for all their hard work and everything that they they were able to give to me. So it really was just um, all about you know doing something unique for my grandfather you know, as a way of, um, of, of telling him thank you. So uh, there's two materials in this piece. One is a hardwood called whinge wood. That's actually the, the background or the um, border of the piece of thing that the metal is bolted onto. And then the metal itself is steel. So I've done projects in, uh, in copper and bronze and gold and silver. Um, I haven't really worked a ton with steel recently, and um, so it might not be an obvious choice, but to me there really wasn't another choice. My grandfather is a steel fabricator and, and has been uh, probably since he was my age or uh, before that, and so that material is kind of important. I didn't want to put like a piece of copper on there. It, it really needed to be steel, even though it was a little bit harder to work with uh, in terms of the chasing and represent, but uh, it was kind of more symbolic for me. I really wanted to uh, give him a gift that was uh, in this material that he's been working on for such a long time. So the process that I used for this project, uh, the way that I created the name um, is called Chasing and Represe. So there are several other pieces on the, on the blog that have been done using this technique. It's basically um, the idea behind it is that you take a flat sheet of metal and you're using some kind of uh, blunt chisels, um, kind of rounded different shapes, and you're going to take the flat metal and then I'm um, going to go and hammer it and, and press the metal down one way and kind of create the name that way and then uh, flip it over and then work it down from the top side to give it that uh, final finished look, all those little hammer marks and straighten, straighten up the letters and just make everything look nice and clean and uniform. Well, I actually started this project uh, around two years ago, maybe two and a half years ago, at least I came up with the idea. I was in San Antonio and I just finished college and I wanted to do this uh, thank you gift for my grandfather and I kind of came up with the idea to do this, to do uh, our family name in, in a steel plate and um, chase it and represent it. So I, I believe that I did one version there, I, th I think I took a piece of steel rod and Hammered out, hammered it out flat until it was a sheet, and then I started doing the chasing repose on that piece of metal. However, that forging, the hammering, the steel rod into a sheet really left the material very brittle, and I tore a hole in one of the letters with my chasing tool. And uh, so from there, I went and uh, got a different uh, sheet of steel. I think it's some automotive steel, something used, that they used to do body work and kind of uh, learn from the mistakes of the first one and uh, that was that was the piece that I that I have created here. I would say that the, f the finished piece just the one not the entire project but the one that you're seeing in the pictures here represents about 30 35 hours worth of work um, and I'd say that that's probably about right. The chasing a represent is pretty time intensive I mean, basically everything is done just one hammer hit at a time. It's just like t -t 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 so uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty intense. Well, there's probably a few things that I would have done differently. Um, the main thing, probably being maybe consider the finished piece a little bit more. When I came up with the idea of having the uh, our family name and the steel I kind of got really excited about this oh, it's going to look great you know I'm going to chase and represent steel you know nobody well, people do it but um, I'd never done it and I just thought it, I got really psyched about the idea and kind of just dove into it I knew it was going to be a name tag uh, but 
beyond that, I kind of figured, well, I'll just go ahead and do it, and then I'll figure out, uh, you know, how I want to display it afterwards. I am happy with the way that it looks on the wood. I think it looks beautiful with that winge wood, and uh, I think it, it you know, works very well as a plaque. It, 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 I'm really happy with the way the Chasing Repose came out in the steel, um, so I'm pretty pretty stoked about the way that it looks. But um, as with as with all these projects, once you kind of get to this almost finished state, uh, I usually have some you know new ideas about oh man, it really would have been really cool if I would you know done it like this, or maybe I could have folded it into a box, or you know I just you finish one thing and you get like five ideas for the next piece, and uh, but that's just part of the process. That's the way it goes. So next time, you know, I'll take that knowledge and apply it to something else. So thank you guys for checking out the video. This is the first time I've done it, in kind of in this interview format. I think it's I think it's pretty good. Let me know what you think on the blog. Send me an email. Um, be sure to check out the new. Well, if you're seeing this, you're actually on a new website. So um, let me know what you think about that. Uh, scroll over to the jewelry section and buy some jewelry. Um, hopefully I will get some new videos and new posts up soon. So have a good day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.